everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is your first time here my name is Jess I'm very excited about filming this intro for today's video if it's not self-explanatory from the title basically I'm going to be trying out a number of different blind book or book subscription services and then reviewing the experience on my channel and then I'll do a separate vlog where I read the books that I have received so a little bit of background, I've mentioned a couple of times I think in various videos that I have tried out a number of different book subscription services to review on my blog and then I was watching a video by Kayla from Books and Lala who essentially did the same thing but she did it on her channel and it was like a light bulb moment for me, I thought why have I not? done that for my channel as well why am I just doing it for my blog so it's going to be slightly different and I'm only going to choose three which have all got some kind of connection so I'm going to try a blind book service I'm going to try a blind book subscription service and then I'm going to try a subscription service and as I say I'll review the experience and then I'll do a separate vlog so the first one that I'm going to do is the blind book service and I have already in advance been on to Etsy and chosen the shop that I want to use or the seller that I want to use because there are hundreds I don't I can't try them all I can't say whether one is better than the other the reason that I picked this one is because it had the genre that I was interested in and it came with a few little extras and it seemed like a fairly decent price so it's called Skirt Studios I will leave a link to the shop in the description bar down below so as you can see mystery book set with initial bookmark pom-pom which is very cute and hot chocolate stick so i'm going to select the genre and i am interested in romance i'm going to add the personalization which is just my initial which is j uh, and then i think i can add a note so i'm going to do that I'm fairly new to the romance genre, true, so would prefer something that's not too steamy. Oh my word, can't spell. But I'm excited to see what is picked. Smiley face, always put a smiley face on the end of everything according to my boss. So as you can see it's £12.45 um, for the book, for the hot chocolate stick and for the bookmark as well and obviously it's entirely blind so you are able to put a little note on what you want but um, I don't know what I will get so yeah that is that one done and then the next one that I'm going to try is How Novel so this is a blind book subscription service you can sign up monthly the slight difference with this is that you do get some clues so you will get a an email and you follow the link in the email and then it gives you this month's selection and each of the books have a couple of pictures on the front to kind of give you a clue over what it might be about so as you can see from the first one there conspiracy cat and mouse danger private jet the next one finding love escapism and i can kind of see i think i know what a couple of them are based on the descriptions so um oh that one looks good race 1950s sexuality coming of age that one sounds good 1885 gothic nature versus nurture servant Hmm. and then okay so how novel rewind a selection of mystery books that have been previously featured so some are obviously new and then some are presumably left over from previous months so need to make my selection I'm going to choose going to choose the 1950s one I think Okie dokie, so go to mystery book selection and I'm going to choose identities and I'll submit it and then presumably at some point in the near future the book comes. So that is that and then the final one that I'm going to do is a book subscription service that I signed up for to review for my blog. So we've got the blind book which we've done through Etsy, we've got the how novel subscription which I've actually signed up to for the purposes of this blog 
And then the third one is one that I had previously subscribed to called Tea Time Bookshop. I will film me going through the subscription service so that you can see but it's one that I'm already subscribed to. I subscribed to it in order to review it for my blog. Haven't actually cancelled it yet but depending what the how novel, depending how I feel about the how novel subscription I may end up switching because I haven't had that many books from it that I have been desperate to read so I'll go to, onto it on my phone now so that you can see. So there are a number of different subscriptions available. If you click on subscriptions, you can see bestseller book box, crime and thriller book box, historical fiction, which I think is the one that I get, political sciences, surprise me, rom-com, etc, etc. So let's, for the sake of this, go to historical fiction. You can choose to have pre-loved or new, one-time purchase, monthly pay as you go, subscribe and save. Pretty sure I do the monthly pay as you go. You can choose, if I say pre-loved, let's go pre-loved, one book. So you can have one or two. Tea, coffee, hot chocolate, surprise me. I'm gonna go for hot chocolate. And that's it, add it to the cart and away you go. So, already kind of placed that order automatically with it being a rolling subscription. I have placed the Etsy order. I have placed the How Novel selection. Let's see what I get trying to find um, decent light because it is a full on miserable day here in the UK. So my blind book from Etsy has arrived. I just wanted to pop on really quickly and film my unboxing of it. I'm actually working today. I am off because Eli is self isolating from school. So I'm technically working, but I just thought that I would come on in my break and really quickly film this because I'm like a child at Christmas. I want to get a parcel or a package and I have to open it as soon as possible. Uh, so as a reminder, this was an Etsy shop called Scare Studios. I will leave a link to the shop. I was able to pick by genre. I chose romance and then I added a note which said I'm fairly new to the romance genre so would prefer something that's not too steamy but I'm excited to see what is picked. I actually got a note back from the shop owner which said thank you for buying from my little shop. I picked out a book by an author who I think is the perfect intro into the romance genre really hope that you enjoy it so we will see as i said before it comes with a few little extras so we have got this very cute hot chocolate stirrer milk chocolate white chocolate and fudge pieces which is very very sweet i'm just going to quickly open it up and really hope that it did not get wet because that would just be very very disappointing oh look how cute this is so have a little J bookmark with a fluffy pom-pom on the end which is very very cute and then we have romance so this says blind date with a book genre romance a beautiful love story about someone searching for her place in the world and finding herself along the way and then it's got like a little um, wax seal on it as well this is where I prove that I am completely inept at opening parcels and things. I almost don't want to damage it because it's so cute. Let's speed this up. Okay, Paige Toon, that's an author that I recognize if you could go anywhere. Um, how do you find where you're going if you don't know where you're from? Angie has always wanted to travel, but at 27, she has barely stepped outside the small mining town where she was born. Instead, she discovers the world through stories told to her by passing travellers, dreaming that one day she'll see it all for herself. When her grandmother passes away, leaving Angie with no remaining family, she is ready to start her own adventures. Then she finds a letter revealing the address of the father she never knew and realises instantly where her journey must begin, Italy. As Angie sets out to find the truth about her family, about her past and about who she really is, will mysterious and reckless Italian Alessandro help guide the way? How far would you go for love? Okay, okay, so this is an author that I am familiar with. This is obviously not like full on romance, but more what I would class as contemporary women's fiction, which I have read before but I'm still excited to give it a go and see what I think. I cannot now remember off the top of my head if I've ever read Page Tune. 
I will go back through my Goodreads and I will update you when you next see me talking about this book because I have a vague memory that maybe I've read one a long time ago. We will see. But yeah, quite pleased with that and obviously pleased with my little pom-pom bookmark as well. Just a very, a very basic but cute edition. So yeah, just popping on to say it has come. This is what I got. I will update you later on my thoughts on the book. Um, yeah. So excitingly, I actually have two deliveries to show you today. My um, Tea Time Bookshop subscription came and also my blind book choice from How Novel has arrived as well. So we'll start with the Tea Time Bookshop because this box is already opened. Helpfully, James decided that he was going to open the box, remove the contents and recycle the box in it, I think, in an attempt to be helpful and not realizing or appreciating that half the fun is actually getting to open the box and see what's inside. So we will start with this one. So this is historical fiction. You do also get a few other goodies with your um, with your box. So you get, you can have a hot drink. I go for hot chocolate because I don't like flavored teas. I'm a big tea drinker, but I just drink your standard tea. I'm not a big fan of flavoured teas so I go for the hot chocolate. So this time I've got pure fine selection, Ooh, full bodied cocoa. Look forward to trying that. Uh, biscuits, butterscotch crunch biscuits you also get with every box. Let me get it out. You get a postcard so this one says a word after a word after a word is power and that is a quote from margaret atwood and you get a bookmark as well open your mind and expand your world with a good book and then the book that i have got i'm actually really really pleased with this one so this is kind of what i was hoping my etsy blind book would be when i requested a sort of a soft entrance into romance oh why does that sound wrong um when i <laughs> when i wanted sorry when i wanted to have a beginner's book in the romance genre shall we say so this is the duchess deal by tessa dare tessa dare is a name that i recognize i have never read one of her books but it is a name that i recognize as being a kind of um regency romance author i think i'm right in saying that i am a duke I am not asking you to marry me, I am offering to marry you. When a girl meets a duke, their marriage breaks all the rules. Okay, so this is um, published by Mills and Boone, which maybe tells us everything that we need to know about the type of romance book that this is going to be. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read this. Like, what if it's really, really graphic? <laughs> I mean, genuinely, this is what I thought, oh, I'd hope that my blind book would be something a bit more, um, I don't want to say steamy, because I feel like I'm not necessarily the type of reader who would enjoy a steamy book, but it's definitely not the type of book that I would normally read. So, historical romance. Thank you very much, Tea Time Book Club. I'm actually quite concerned about my ability to read that book and not just blush all the shades of red to be honest right so we'll move on to my how novel so this was i don't know if you remember this was a blind book in that i got some description and i was able to choose from the very brief descriptions what i wanted um oh look at that how fab is that So that is the cover with some graphics on it to Jess from the How Novel team. So if you can see that it says race, we have race, 1950s, sexuality, coming of age. So I like this, it's like book Christmas all year round isn't it? Rainbow Milk by Paul Mendes. This is not a book that I am familiar with. I've actually got the sticky stuff from the brown paper all over my nail. That is not very nice. Shortlisted for the Gordon Byrne Prize and Observer 2020 Best Debut. 
In the black country in the 1950s, ex-boxer Norman Alonso is a determined and humble Jamaican who has moved to Britain with his wife to secure a brighter future for them and their children. At the turn of the millennium, Jesse seeks a fresh start in London, escaping from a broken immediate family, a repressive religious community and the desolate, disempowered black country but finds himself at a loss for a new centre of gravity and turns to sex work to create new notions of love, fatherhood and spirituality. Goodness me. This is a book that I feel like I should have heard of, but I, it's definitely not ringing any bells. But this sounds really fascinating. Definitely pleased with my choice. Definitely going to look forward to reading this one. And then I do also get... I'm not sure if I should have done this first actually. You do also get a few other bits in your how novel as well. I get this looks like a little hand drawn bookmark that says sunset on it and it's got some stars on the back which is rather cute. Ooh, throwing things around. A little envelope with my name on it. I'm pretty sure I just held that upside down <laughs> to be fair. Oh my goodness, so you get a How Novel pen pal. Dear Jess, welcome to How Novel, I'm your pen pal. Each month I will be on hand to discuss your mystery books, life and everything in between. For more details, as this note is only so big, head to How Novel, blah blah blah. I really hope you enjoy your first mystery book. Let me know how cute is that. Love that. Uh, we have a How Novel bookmark. And then, not really sure what this is, another envelope, let's see. Oh, just a, just a how novel postcard that I presume I can use to write back to my pen pal if I wish. So there we go, two quite different choices, I think, both of which I am intrigued to try for myself. This one I'm a little bit more nervous of. I know that Regency Romance has obviously exploded with Bridgerton. If you watched my Bridgerton vlog you'll know that I just was not on board with it at all for reasons of consent. Not because I didn't enjoy the content but, well, there was an element of the content that I didn't enjoy which was the lack of consent but not for any other reason. So I am intrigued to try an alternative author and um, yeah but I'm just not sure about the steaminess of it. We will see and this one just sounds so fascinating. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of research on this one I think so yeah so I now have my three books as I said I will film a separate reading vlog of me reading the three and my experiences of it but before I go I wanted to give you a quick overview of my experiences of the different services and also predict my order or my star rating of the three so we'll start with the Duchess deal which came in the tea time bookshop subscription box I have now had four or five of these boxes and I have decided to cancel it in favour of the How Novel one but I will talk about that more in a moment. So I did go back and look. I think initially I said that I thought I had the historical fiction subscription box. That's not true. I had the surprise me subscription box. So it's probably my own fault that of the four or five that I've had only one of the books has really jumped out to me. Probably it should be a case of lesson learned and I need to be more specific about the genre that I want. I think that it is a fairly reasonable price. I have the pre-loved one which makes it slightly cheaper and the books have all been, I mean this one is pretty much, it looks new, it doesn't look like it's been read. Uh, yeah, nothing really to say about it. It's a good price, it's a good subscription service um, if you want the little treats like the bookmark and the hot chocolate or the hot drink and the biscuits you know it's a nice way to treat yourself and I do like that you can set it so that it only comes every three months or you can buy it as a one-off or as a gift it does have that flexibility and there is a wide range of choice from the genres which I didn't take advantage of because I went for the surprise me box but if you only wanted to read from a specific genre you could obviously narrow down the type of books that you are going to get so yeah overall very pleased um obviously I have decided not to continue with it simply because my bank is not a limitless fund and if I'm gonna have a subscription I really just need to have one also I don't need to have multiple subscriptions because I don't need to keep bringing books into the house do that enough on my own so yeah in terms of what I think about this one I think I'm gonna enjoy it 
If you watched my Bridgerton vlog, you'll know that I had mixed reviews on that. I don't want that to have coloured my experience of historical fiction romance, but I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, reserving judgment on that one. And then the How novel one is obviously the subscription service that I have decided to continue on with. I like the fact that you get a choice over what book you get. So you get those little clues, you get a selection of books to pick from and you can obviously choose the one that appeals to you most. I have since had, since starting this video and getting everything and getting myself together, I've since had another one of these and I really want to read that book and I really want to read this book and this book in particular is one that I would not have found on my own. So depending what I think about it, I'm really pleased with the outcome of that. Obviously with this one you don't know what you're getting at all other than if you choose to narrow it down by genre so there is a little bit more look involved in what you get whereas with this one if there is a particular buzzword that you find really off-putting you obviously wouldn't pick that book or if there is something a description that you think yeah actually that sounds really interesting then you would choose it so it's not quite a fair comparison between the two services but yes this is the one that I'm deciding to continue with I'm just very impressed I like the fact that you get a little note from your pen pal I haven't managed to write back to Ellie yet I really do need to get on with that but as I say very pleased very much looking forward to it and I like that the two books that I have had so far are books that weren't on my radar and this one in particular as I say is not one that I think I would have come across on my own and then the final one Again, there are loads and loads of Etsy blind book services. I can't speak to how my experience would be with any of the others. This was the one that appealed to me the most and I literally looked at hundreds. I would personally recommend it. I like that it's a little bit more look similar to the Tea Time Bookshop but you can put a note on there to guide the seller's choice but obviously it depends on the stock that they have but if you wanted to treat yourself if you wanted to treat someone else this is a fairly cost effective way of doing that and you obviously get the bookmark and the hot chocolate stick and the other little trinkets that just make it a little bit more special so on the whole I had a positive experience with all of them notwithstanding my personal experience with Tea Time Bookshop it's a subscription service that I would recommend but with the nuances that I've said if you are very specific about what you want to read then obviously do it by genre rather than making the mistake that I made. So yeah, they are the three books. I've had a think about, I've had a read of the blurb, I've had a think about the type of reader that I am, what I'm looking for in a book, and I don't think that any of them, I'm happy by the way to be proved completely wrong on this fact, but I don't think that any of them are five star reads. A five star read for me is a book that absolutely has to blow me away. I think that one or two of these may get close but I don't think that any of them will be five star reads. In terms of the book that I think that I will like the least I'm going to go with The Duchess Deal simply because of my experience with Bridgerton and I did say that I don't want it to colour my reading experience of this book but I just think that it will. That's not to say that I don't think I'm going to like it I just think of the three I will like this one the least. I think this one is going to be middle of the road and I think I'm going to enjoy this one the most. I actually did cheat a little bit and read the first page of this last night when I was umming and ahhing over the order of the books and I kind of love it a little bit already. So there you go. We've got third, second and first. And as I say, I'll be back with a reading vlog of me reading all three books and I will share more of my thoughts with you there. So Thank you very much for watching. I will leave links to all three of the book services in the description bar down below. I don't get anything for recommending them, but do go and have a look if any of them have piqued your interest. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Take care and be sure to check out my reading vlog, which will be up very soon. See you.